up. I'm doing a layout today uh, using these photos of a sweater that I knitted. I started this in February. <laughs> My husband had to have surgery and I wanted to have something to work on while he was in the hospital. And I worked a little bit on it when he was in surgery, but I didn't end up doing that much of it there. I did most of it at home and I really enjoyed making the sweater. I had to make a lot of adjustments to the pattern because I was using a smaller yarn, a DK weight yarn versus a worsted uh, yarn. It's been 30 years since I knitted and even th these terms have coming back to me now but I had for kind of forgotten all the different uh, kinds of yarns but I, this was just gorgeous and I have a little bit of the thread and I'll have it out here in a, in a minute because I want to use some of it on the page. So I'll, I'm going to go get some of that out of my uh, knitting basket. But anyway, I had a lot of fun making the sweater and my best friend was over yesterday and she took these photos of me in it. She was the first person to see it completed. And so I wanted to scrap that. I'm also doing this for a challenge at Victoria Marie's Facebook page over National Scrapbooking Day. There was a challenge to use a selfie or a photo of yourself and talk about, you know, what's kind of going on in your life. So this seemed to fit that pretty well. The papers that I have, I have some Life is Beautiful and I also have some My Mind's Eye. Uh, papers here. The Hello Gorgeous chipboard is kind of where I think I want to start with this. I don't have an arrangement uh, planned out, but there are some things in here that I uh, would like to use. So I thought I'd pick some embellishments first and then sort of work the page around that. So I like that this makes me happy because it does make me happy that I finally finished this sweater. I get to knit maybe an hour or so a day and um, so it takes a while to get things done. Uh, let's see, looking good because I'm real pleased with how it looks. Um, and I might use some of the other things that are kind of fun on here. I don't know, there's a button. There's a couple of little button ones. All right, and what I'm going to do with these photos is these two are five inches high, and this one's only three inches wide. I'm going to take this one and cut it with the uh, a round circle cutter and cut that down. So that'll be on the page. There are also these great um, covered pieces, covered buttons. So we may use one of those on there as well. But let's see what paper kind of looks good with this. I liked this paper for the background because it has, looks like little stitches and it's gray and white. I can't really do a blue green paper. I don't have quite the exact color and I think it would be too much of that anyway. So let's see what else we have that would go with this. It's got a bunch of things that kind of go together. I like this color, but I'm not sure if the scale work. It's tough to find something that works with this stitching thing because anything else that's the same scale kind of competes with it and if there's a lot of contrast again I think there's a, a compete competition there. So now wait a minute there is this I think I like that better. So let's work with those two to start with and we'll see what else we might like to add. I have lots of 6x6 six six papers that would work with this also. So let's go ahead and trim this down. Use the smallest cutter. Ah! My cutters. I'm having trouble with it. That did not go well. I may have to reprint this. I printed these photos on my own printer. And there's a variety of colors here. When I get the, the actual thread up here, we'll see which one is the real color. I think it's something close to this. But um, I have not for a long time had a printer that did good quality prints and I really prefer to send them out because it's just so expensive I find to, to keep the ink stocked up to print photos. So doing the occasional one like for this situation is not bad but I'll probably just have to reprint that and uh, recut it. So that gives us an idea of the placement. I'm going to trim these down. 
So let's see kind of where all these embellishments are going to go. And I've debated about putting this paper behind the photos, but it just, that pink color took over and I really lost the quality of the photos. So I'm going to do a strip of it at the bottom. I'm going to cut the circus words off. I don't want those on there. And I found one more piece of chipboard that was perfect. It was a ruler and I did a lot of measuring making this. So that was a great thing to do. I also had another paper that looked like little stitches in the bluish blue green color. There's my actual yarn and I'm going to wrap some of that around the page like you would Baker's Twine. The title will be Lacy Tunic, and I cut lacy on my silhouette and did an offset in gray to make the letters pop a little bit more. But they're, that's a very delicate cut, so I'm having to do a little cleanup uh, before I glue everything together. I've got a brand new silhouette mat, and I think I need to change my blade, too, to get a little better cuts. And I will glue this on with, or glue the thinner letters to the offset with um, a zig marker. Now I wanted it to say my lacy tunic, and I still do, but I can't use the silver letters. They're just getting lost there on that white paper, so I'm going to have to come up with something else for the word my. I've uh, cut my, or printed my journaling, and it's a double-sided thing. I just folded it over, and I'm making myself sort of a little makeshift tag by using my round um, Creative Memories cutter to cut out a rounded area and then just cut off the rest of it with scissors so it looks a little bit like a tag. And I was going to see if I could round those corners but they won't fit in the corner rounder. I punched a hole in the end of it and put a string through it and then what I want to do is attach it to the back of the photo so or t attach a white piece of paper back there so it'll be easy to slip this tag uh, in and out. And when I first did this, I have it a little too tight, so I end up taking the tag to the paper trimmer and just trimming a little bit off of each side so that it will slide in and out more easily. And then I can glue that photo next to the other one. And we'll have a little bit of hidden journaling there. I did that mostly for space. It's not really that I needed to hide this. I just needed... Um, I just didn't have a good place to put as much journaling as I wanted to have on the page. So now we're going to go ahead and put down these chipboard pieces. At this point, the placement's pretty set. And I've uh, got to figure out if I'm going to use these covered brads. I did learn one important thing. When you're going to mess with these, better use tools and not your nails. They are really hard on the nails. I need to get some more yellow into the page. Um, I've got the words at the top there that are in yellow, but this makes me happy, but it doesn't, um, I don't have anything else yellow. So I looked at some other things, and finally I ended up with some words that were appropriate for the day. Okay, I added the My over Lacey Tunic, which is some October afternoon mini markets there. And then Delightful Day, This these photographs were taken when a friend was visiting me, and it was a really great day. So uh, that's not really what I'm talking about here, but it does sort of go, and I wanted to balance that yellow. I did add a little brad here because I kind of like the idea of having something small there. Uh, so we can pull our journaling out. Um, I've got several of the chipboard pieces to accent this using um, My Mind's Eye products here, so I had a lot of fun with those. And thanks so much for joining me. There's a blog post that goes with this. It talks a lot about the sweater. If you have any interest in knitting, um, it's, you know, it takes th nearly three months to make a project. You want to talk about it. So um, I had made myself a sweater once before years and years ago, and I don't know what happened to it. I still have it somewhere. Uh, I've packed away, um, but it, it was kind of leftover yarn and all. So this is the first time I 
I really invested and did something like this for myself. When I was young and I did a lot of knitting and crocheting, I gave away practically everything. I made some afghans for myself, but otherwise I made baby things, made a christening dress one time. I made tons of stuff to give away. So maybe I'm getting selfish in my old age. I don't know. I'm still give, I still want to make things of a friend whose uh, daughter's having a baby. So I, you know, next winter I'd love to make something for her, uh, for the baby. But, um, you know, I, I'm going to do that, but right now I'm just enjoy, enjoying having something pretty uh, that I'm going to be proud to wear. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed the layout. And this was for the Victoria Marie uh, Facebook Challenge. It was over National Scrapbooking Day. There will be a little bit of time left probably by the time I get this uploaded, so check out her uh, Facebook uh, page and maybe participate in some of those challenges before they end, I believe at midnight on Monday, May the 8th. Thanks so much. Bye.